Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. So make sure you guys check out lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking. My two newest teas are available right now on Amazon and on the website. One is the red blood cell booster tea that's available and so is the honey cinnamon nighttime tea. So if you're interested in trying either one of these out, you guys can check out either one of those websites. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, so if you guys don't know, yesterday Gabriel Union and Dwayne Wade were trending all over over social media and the reason why they were trending is because they both took to their social media pages to announce the birth of their baby girl okay so a lot of folks were shocked a lot of folks were like hold up we didn't even know Gabrielle Union was pregnant like what the hell's going on she's laid up in bed she's wearing a nursing gown he's wearing a nursing gown they got you know matching bracelets I mean the whole situation was strange to a lot of people but had they read the damn caption they would realize that Gabrielle Union was saying that she didn't give birth to this little girl they used the surrogate getting to folks who know Gabriel Union's struggle. She has struggled forever with trying to get pregnant. She stated that she's had over nine miscarriages. And so she really wanted a child with Dwayne Wade, who she's been married to for a few years now. So they decided to do um, in vitro fertilization via a surrogate. So I guess they used Gabriel Union's egg and his sperm, and then the surrogate carried the baby. And now they have their beautiful daughter. I want you guys to go ahead and check out these pictures. Check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. All right, so you guys just saw the pictures of Gabriel Union and Dwayne Wade. They look super happy and super excited. And I'm happy that they have a daughter because, as we all know, Dwayne Wade has a bunch of boys, okay? He has his uh, sons by his ex-wife. Then he has a little side baby, and that's a little boy. And now he finally has a daughter with Gabriel Union, okay? So now their family is basically complete. So congratulations to them. You know, I saw a lot of people making little smart comments, like, you know, why is she acting like she, you know, pushed the baby out? You know, she's doing too much for a photo op but I just think they were just really excited because again she's been waiting forever and a day to become a mother and I'm sure this whole nine month process was really stressful for them that's why they kept everything hush hush so congratulations once again to Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade on their happy family okay so now in other news you know that's not so happy um, Matt Barnes was also trending yesterday and basically he was trending because he's now gained full custody of his twin sons with Gloria Govan. So if you guys don't know, it's been a lot of drama, a lot of ups and downs in their relationships. Um, even so much so that when Gloria Govan ended up divorcing Matt, she started dating Derek Fisher, who once, you know, coached uh, Matt Barnes and Matt Barnes knew him. And so he was really upset. Rumor has it that he drove to Derek Fisher's home and punched him in the face. So this was all back in 2015. So it's just been a lot of mess since then. Well, most recently, back in September, Gloria Govan was arrested and she was charged with a felony for showing out at her kids' school. So she ended up getting arrested. Um, she basically tried to block Matt and the kids in, you know, with her vehicle at the school. It was a whole bunch of mess. It was very embarrassing. So now the judge has basically weighed all of the stuff that she's been doing and he basically granted Matt full custody. Custody. So this is what's being reported. Go ahead and check this out. So they're saying Gloria Govan's custodial rights have just been revoked as of today. A California judge granted Matt Barnes sole legal and physical custody of their twin 10-year-old sons. After he granted Barnes sole custody of the kids, the judge ordered ex-wife Govan to complete 26 sessions of anger management, 10 parenting classes. Matt also reportedly obtained an 18-month restraining order against Gloria, claiming that she's a physical danger to him. But Gloria wasn't totally on a loss on raising her kids. The restraining order was granted 
through May 2020, but does not extend to the kids. The judge doesn't believe that Gloria possesses a danger to them. Gloria will get regular visitation. That is every other weekend from Friday until Monday morning. She's also allowed to have dinner with the kids every Wednesday evening. This decision comes after months of bickering back and forth inside and outside of the courtroom over their children. The exes had an explosive argument that resulted in Gloria's arrest. Matt reported that she allegedly flew into a rage in her car, blocking Matt and the kids from driving away from their school. Gloria's charges for criminal child endangerment ended up being dropped. The decision is good news for Matt Barnes, who's looking to lower his $20,000 a month child support payment. Matt recently filed documents claiming he pays tuition and takes care of the necessities for the kiddies. And right now, Matt makes $161,000 per month until 2020, according to the documents obtained by The Blast. Honey. All right, so you guys just heard me read all of that. So in my personal opinion, kudos to Matt for stepping up. You have so many guys out here who complain and claim that the system's against them and they can't get custody of their kids. They can't fight. The baby mama's not shit. They have all this proof, but for that reason, the judge is not listening to them. In some cases, that may be true, but if you really fight and fight hard, you can get custody of your child. So kudos to Matt Barnes for doing what he had to do to get his children out of that situation. And I'm not saying that Gloria's a bad mother but you know all this bickering and all this back and forth that they both have engaged in over the past few years has just been sad and crazy and at this point in time it makes no sense they both claim to be happy with other people as we all know i just posted a picture the other day on instagram that matt barnes is having a baby if you guys don't know he has a baby on the way with beverly johnson's daughter he's in a whole new relationship he has a baby boy on the way. They just did a gender reveal party. Um, Gloria Govan is getting ready to marry Derek Fisher. So if they're both with other people and they're happy, why so much drama? It's like it doesn't even make any sense. Hopefully now with this new ruling and this new judgment, they can come to terms with the decision that the judge has made and they can remain, you know, co-parenting parents and do it about the right way. It's sad that it went so far where she lost physical custody of her kids. But like I said, she's been acting crazy for a while now and basically came back to bite her in the butt. Hopefully they can move on from this and they both follow the judge's agreements and she's allowed to see the kids every Wednesday and on the weekends and there's no more trouble or drama from here on out, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Matt Barnes and Gloria Govan going at it and her finally losing full custody of her twins. And then last but not least, how do you guys feel about the Gabriel Union situation? Where basically, you know, she kept everything hidden and everything quiet only to announce on social media that her and Dwayne Wade are not proud parents of a baby girl. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.